Hey everyone, it's Phoebe. You know, I never really intended to do any armster, um, armchair detective stuff on my channel. Um, and those of you who know me from Team Phoenix will know that I'm not his biggest fan. To be honest, I don't watch his channel. I'm not subscribed and I haven't watched him for weeks and weeks. But I popped over the other night just to see what he was up to. And I couldn't believe that he's still talking about the Christopher Watts case. Anyway, he's made this video called Chris Watts' Secret Trip to His Hidden Truck. And at four minutes into that video, he states that Shanann's Lexus was parked out on the road at 17.20, according to the body cam footage. And it is, you know, 17.20 on the body cam footage. There's no disputing that at all. However... Armchair Detective has made a huge error, a boo-boo, as I call them. <laughs> um, not that my dog's called Jackson boo-boo for the same reason. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm waffling. So what's ha what? Let me, let me just explain. Let's have a look at these next few images, okay? And, um, and I'll explain as we go along. So as you can see, in my very badly drawn red circle, you can see a T, which is for time, 17.20 and 09 seconds, followed by a Z, which is for Zulu in the phonetic alphabet. But the Z also stands for Zulu time, which is otherwise known as UCT or GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. And in August... Colorado is actually six hours behind Greenwich Mean Time, meaning that um, Colorado is also six hours behind Zulu time. So at 17.20 on the body cam footage, in real time, in real life, it would actually have been 11.20 in the morning in Colorado. Let me just show you a clip to check and to test my theory. What's going on? So, my friend, um, we were out of town for a business trip this weekend. Right. And I dropped her off at 2 o'clock this morning. She's 15 weeks pregnant. She wasn't feeling well. And she had a doctor's appointment this morning. She was very distraught over the weekend, wasn't eating normally or drinking, and we kept trying to force it on her because she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, from what we know from the discovery, Nicole... Atkinson called law enforcement at lunchtime and Officer Coonrod was dispatched at 13.40 to go and meet up with her. Okay, so it takes him 11 minutes to get to Shanann's property and he greets, as you've just seen, he greets Nicole Atkinson. I don't know if you noticed the time on that footage, but it actually said 19.50, which is 10 to 7, uh, sorry, 10 to 8 in the evening. Let me just show you another clip and have a look at the time. Keep an eye on the time, okay? Shoes she wears every single day right in the front door. She only has one vehicle? No, they only have the one vehicle and it's her truck. Okay, that's what I'm asking. There's not a... So hopefully you will have seen that the clock on that clip said 19.51, which is 7.51 p.m., okay? So if you take six hours away from 19.51, you get 13.51, agreed? So if Con uh, Officer Coonrod was dispatched at 13.40, and it takes 11 minutes for him to get to Shanann's property, that would mean that he would arrive at 13.51. So 13.51 at lunchtime, just after lunch, equals 19.51 in Zulu time. I hope that makes sense. Let's just have another look at a quick clip to, again, check my theory.
Okay, so that was Christopher Watts arriving home. And again, I don't know if you noticed the time, but it said 20.07, which is 8 o'clock or 7 minutes past 8 p.m. in the evening. Now we know that Chris left work around midday and it took him two hours to get home. He had his first hour, didn't he? And then when Nicole rang him again, he said that he was still an hour away. So if he left work at midday, he would have got home roughly around two o'clock, just after two o'clock, which is 1400 hours. So if we just look at this last clip here, take a look at the time, all right? And um, let me know what you think. This is the only vehicle she would have? Only one that, yeah. She would drive? Okay. So the time on that clip said 20.08. Eight minutes past eight in the evening. So again, if you take six hours off of 20.08, it leaves you with 14.08, which is eight minutes past two at lunchtime, exactly when Christopher Watts would have arrived home. I really hope all this is making sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the footage that Armchair Detective used at, at four minutes into his video, the hidden truck video, Yes, it did say 17.20, but in reality, it was really 11.20 in the morning, okay? And I'm hoping that I've kind of proved that um, with these little clips here, because Armchair Detective, although I believe he studies metadata, he clearly hasn't watched any of these videos and looked at the time and thought, what's Officer Coonrod doing strolling up greeting Nicole Atkinson at 19.51? And what's Chris Watts doing arriving home at lunchtime when the clock says 20.07 and 20.08? He hasn't put two and two together. And I'm really surprised because, you know, he's a detective of the metadata, isn't he? So I'm Joe Detective. You know, if you hear this or see this or if any of your subs hear this, you know, take a little look at some of the footage and you'll see what I mean. It's all out by six hours. You need to take six hours away from the body cam footage time. Okay, that's me done. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. I really appreciate you giving up the time and sharing your time with me more than you know. Take good care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.